Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In this video, I'm going to show you Brett OS. Brett OS is a new distribution and it's based on Arch Linux. And it's available for the Racha Rock 5B and also for another SBC. And I will show you that later on. So I wrote the image to a micro SD card and I have booted up my Racha Rock 5B. And here we are at the setup. So I'll just go for British English. And I have connected Ethernet. So it also picked up my location. So that's all good to go. And I'll go for the US International with dead keys keyboard. And setting up a user. And it seems we're good to go. So we'll just click setup. And I guess this also depends on the speed of your micro SD card. So it says all done and we can restart. So I already tried this before, so uh, the first reboot can take a while. So I'll just uh, pause the recording and uh, I'll come back when it's booted up. Well, it was a bit quicker than when I did this before, so it was actually quite fast. So I've seen it happen that it took like a couple of minutes before it rebooted, but uh, or at least that the full reboot was done. So here we are. And Let's install Chromium. Because usually I have some better performance with Chromium. Um, with, for instance, like the WebGL Aquarium test. So now we have Chromium. So we're going to test 5,000 fishes. And we have around 40, perhaps 41 frames per second. And 
yeah, one of the problems with the Rockchip RK3588 is that uh, the GPU support is not complete yet. So um, hopefully in the future we can get even better results than this. So let's have a look at the Brett OS website. And the download link is already available. So you can see here, image for the Rock 5B. And this one is still in progress. It's not available yet. So the other one is the Kadash Edge 2. That image uh, is available. So um, let's see. There is a Discord channel. No, well, it doesn't like it like this at the moment, but so here's some team members and they also have some sponsors and partners. Ah. So here is the link for the Discord. And I think Oh, no, that's not it. Just hold on. So when you go to BradOS discourse.group, then you can see there's also a forum. And well, as a last test for now, uh, I'm going to install Ether SX2. So I'll have to prepare some stuff. And once I'm done with the preparations, then we're going to test Ether SX2. So I've set up Ether SX2. Oh, we need Fuse. So let's try that again. And I had to manually add the directory downloads. So let's try three times resolution. And I think Falcon is not available. Yeah, so. Because you, can also, you can't choose anything here. So let's try OpenGL.
And then we get the error that only OpenGL 3.0 was found. But there is a little trick for that. And that's something I also already used on my Pinebook Pro. So we use the Pen Mesa Debug GL3. And perhaps we don't have all the OpenGL functionality, but at least it's uh, good enough to get things started. So we might have some graphical glitches here and there, but let's check the sound. And I tried with my PlayStation 3 controller, but that didn't work. But I also have a PlayStation 4 controller. So when we get to the text effect, then yeah, sometimes you get some frame drops here if it gets too difficult for the machine, but this looks okay. So then I'll just um, Pause the video here and then we get to the uh, demi attack. That's usually where you can really stress out the emulator. So I'll play it um, until we get to the demi attack. So I'll pause it here and then come back. So here we get to the demi attack. And now you saw a drop to like 35 frames per second. So we'll just go back to two times resolution.
So with two times resolution, there was a very tiny drop. Uh, I think I saw like 58 instead of 60. So, but the out of the box experience is uh, okay for me with Bread OS on the Racha Rock 5B. So, let's just say. We do a YouTube test. Fourteen forty P, that's a bit too much. Although perhaps with VP9, then you might get away with 1440p. But if you get like AV1, then that is still a bit too much without the hardware video acceleration. So let's just try to push it to 4K. Yeah, that's definitely uh, too much. So all in all, the out of the box experience is um, quite nice with Brad OS on the Raja Rock 5B. So I had to, um, let's just say, activate OpenGL 3.3 for Ether SX2. But other than that, the out of the box experience is um, I think it's good for a, a new distribution. So I'm going to do some more tests, um, but that will have to wait for another video. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.